Hi everyone, I'm Koji Nobe from Kyoto University, Japan. I'd like to explain our demonstration paper. The title is uh, Multi-Party Attentive Listening Robot, which stimulates involvement from side participants. The DALO task of this study is attentive listening. What is attentive listening? In this task, the user does most of the talking, so this is user initi initiative dialogue. The system is the listener that utters listener responses such as back channels, questions, and proper reactions. For example, this kind of dialogue is demanded in elderly care where people often desire social contact. I'll show the dialogue example of attentive listening. At first, user says, yesterday I went to a restaurant with my family, and then the attentive listener asks a question, which restaurant? Then the user says, the French one nearby the station. It was really delicious. And then, at this time, the, sy the system says, that's nice. Then the user can continue to talk. As you can see here, the attentive listener needs to express proper listener responses to make the user more comfortable and be able to continue to talk more and more. In a previous study presented in the last year's SIG Dial conference, we proposed an attentive listening system for Android Erica. The proposed system generates various listener responses such as back channels, assessments, elaborating questions, and repeats. We conducted a dialogue experiment with elderly people to compare this autonomous system with a WOS system that was being operated by a human operator. We called this experiment multimodal Turing test. This is a video from the dialogue experiment. This is the autonomous system. America no New York itta toki mo shokuji shokuji no nedan ga sugoku yasuin desu. Donna shokuji desu ka? Asa wa eto kohi to apple denish. <laughs> Before we'll go to the main part of this study, let me explain about one of the listener responses the system generates. In this study, we focus on assessments. The assessment responses express empathy towards the users. In order to generate these responses, we use a sentiment analysis that classifies user utterances into positive, negative, or neutral. If it is positive, the system generates that's good or that's nice. If it's negative, the system generates that's bad or that's hard. Although these utterances were observed actually in the previous dialogue experiment, we have to say their variation is limited and not enough. This is an example of an assessment response from the dialogue experiment. <laughs> In this case, the robot tried to empathize towards the subject, but you may think that does the robot really empathize or can the robot eat fish? So this example suggests that there is a limitation for the autonomous system to empathize towards human beings. Okay, so it's the main part of the study. So in this demonstration, we extend the one-on-one -on -one attentive listening system to the multi-party attentive listening scenario. In this scenario, the robot Erica plays the role of moderator and each participant talks one by one. This style is the common situation in elderly care facilities, and it is called as group attentive listening. In this case, the involvement of other listeners called side participants is also important to make the dialogue more lively and active. So we modify the assessment responses for the multi-party scenario. In the previous system, the assessment response was like, that's nice, but as I said, the variation of the assessment responses was limited. In the proposed multi-party system, 
the assessment responses becomes that's nice, isn't it? We call these responses involvement stimulating utterances, ISU. The system asks help from other side participants to utter more proper assessments. For example, the side participant would say that's nice experience, which was difficult to be generated by the autonomous system. In addition, since the side participants are allowed to join the conversation as listeners, so the whole dialogue would be more activated. However, there is a problem needed to be solved. If we use the proposed ISU every time, it will be very annoying because the main speaker is interrupted by the system. In this study, we utilize fine-grained sentiment utterances. Compared to the conventional sentiment analysis, we further divide positive labels into explicit positive and implicit positive. The example of explicit positive is, it was really beautiful and I was moved. So in this case, we can find the sentiment word moved, so this is explicit positive. Since the explicit positive can be shared by any people, we use ISU in this case. On the other hand, implicit positive sometimes depends on individuals, so it is not sure they can be shared by other people. So therefore, we don't use ISU in this case. Basically, we extend the sentiment analysis to a three-label sentiment classifier that classifies user utterances to explicit positive or implicit positive or neutral. Please note that we don't consider negative sentiment in this case because most of the sentiments are positive in the attentive listening scenario that is different from counseling. We annotated the three-label sentiment labels in our attentive listening dialogue corpus, and then we trained a BERT-based model. The classification score was 66.9% of macro F score. Using this classifier, we implemented the multi-party attentive listening system with stimulating involvement utterances. This is the demonstration video. えっと、小学校の頃の修学旅行なんですけど、2日間あって、奈良と大阪に行きました。うんうんうん。奈良と大阪ですかはい。で、1日目の奈良は、まあ、大仏とかを見に、元気にいろんなところを回りましたね、うんうんうん。素敵ですね。はい。で、まあ、実際見てみると、結構大きくて、当時感動しましたね。うんうんうん。へえ、素敵ですよね。はい。行ってみたいですねえぜひぜひ見てくださいで、えっと、2日目は、まあうん、朝早くから大阪のユニバに行きました大阪のですかはいであの絶叫系とかがあまり得意じゃなかったので、まあ、ショーとかを見て回ろうとなりまして、うんまあまり見たことのないものもありましたねそうですかはい、まあ、その分新鮮な気持ちでいろいろ回りましたうんいいですねはいでえー、お土産もいっぱい買って両親にマグカップをプレゼントしたんですけどうんプレゼントですか、はいまあ、結果的には楽しくて良い思い出になったんじゃないかなと思いますへえ素敵ですよねはい羨ましいですねいやなんかそんな恥ずかしいけど<笑>
The proposed system works with this remote system. Na Jinja ya Otera Mate, a Sugok Tanoshkata des. Hm. Eh, Miramat san, sticky des yone. So this neapari, you may descarane. We are also implementing another type of ISU. So this is designed to elicit questions from side participants. When the main speaker is in silent, the system asks questions on a specific topic instead of just asking any questions. For example, when the main speaker was speaking about Kyoto before, Erika would say, it was about Kyoto, so do you have any question about that? Then it is expected that the side participant easily makes the questions because the topic is specified by the robot moderator. In the current system, the focus word is being tracked, so we use this focus word as a topic to generate this ISU. In summary, we demonstrate a multi-party attentive listening robot where the robot is the moderator and each participant talks one by one. In this case, it's important to elicit involvement of side participants as active listeners to make the whole dialogue more activated. We proposed involvement stimulating utterances ISUs, so we customize the normal assessment that's nice to that's nice, isn't it? towards side participants. The system asks help from the side participants to utter more proper and varied assessments. This is a cooperation between the system and users in the multi-party dialogue. This is the end of the presentation, so thank you very much. I hope to see you in the SIGDAO conference.